I feel like I'm the only one that has not started decorating for Christmas. So let me know in the comments below if you started yet or not, or if I'm the only one. <laughs> I'm probably the only one, but I do enjoy decorating my front porch for each of the seasons. And I can't wait to show you what I make with these. So keep watching so you can see how they turn out. On this channel, I love sharing easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. This DIY, I think I saw it on Pinterest or something like that. It's been a while. I had just searched fence post Christmas DIYs, found lots of inspo, and I saw a reindeer one. Then I saw Sammy on Unicorn Dust Designs do something similar with two by fours, and I thought, that's it. <laughs> that's the universe telling me to make this. So I took two fence posts and I cut them down to eight pieces around 10 to 12 inches long each and then one at eight inches long. And I didn't want them to be all the exact same size, although if I'm being honest, you probably can't tell at the end that they're different sizes. I'm staining the front and back with Waverly Wax in the color Antique and I'm leaving just a tiny space on what I'm using as the front because I want it to be raw wood for when I glue the noses on later. Speaking of the reindeer noses, I got mine at Hobby Lobby. And if you read that sign, this section is on sale if it's priced at $4.99 and up. These slices are only $4.49, so not on sale. So while the section does go on sale, the wood slices aren't part of it. In the his and her section, however, the wedding section, these wood slices are $4.99, but they go on sale for 40% off. So that makes them $2.99, so obviously, the better deal and they're basically the same thing and you would think that the Dollar Tree ones would be a better deal but you only get three in a pack I need nine so that would be 375 so I better stick with the Hobby Lobby ones time out that's how you do time out right yeah like in a football like in a sports game or whatever time out yeah, that's what you do. Anyways, I wanted to take a time out and tell you really quick that I have a Facebook crafting group called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. I run it with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY and we'd love it if you join and we'd love it if you post whatever craft or project you're currently working on and show some love to the other creators. So the link's going to be in the description box below. Eight of these I'm going to be painting brown and I try to use three colors to give some interest and not just be plain brown and I can't really tell that there are other colors in there so I kept going back and adding in some swirls to some noses so they looked like not flat paint but you tell me if you can tell that I used other colors and for this one I used Waverly chalk paint in the color crimson. This video is part of an open playlist called the Third Thursday Thrift Flip. It's hosted by The Rusty Willow, Southern G Morgals, and the guest host this month is Creative DIY with Mom Doss. The links to their channel is going to be in the description box below, so I hope you check it out as well as the playlist and see what everybody created. All right, now back to the video. I'm using wood glue and hot glue to attach the noses to the face and I'll let them dry overnight. And I may have to go back and add a nail or something because I'm putting these outside on my front porch and I don't want it falling apart or anything. And I'm thinking of putting them on stakes and lining them up like, you know, they're getting ready to pull a sleigh and we'll see how that, how that idea comes together and if it works out like in my mind, you know, like it's good working out in my mind. So I got this round sponge brush in a set from Dollar Tree and I'm using the next to largest size to make some white circles for the eyes. And you can see it's really pretty simple and easy. And you, if you don't have this round sponge brush, then you could use like just a regular paintbrush or maybe even find some like super giant googly eyes. And I wasn't quite happy with the noses. And honestly, as I look at them now, I still want to add more, but I used my dry <laughs> paint then. But here's the thing, y'all. They may be on the dry side and I need a little and need a little help getting going, but they still work and they still have paint, so I'm gonna keep using them until they kick the bucket. But anyway, to all the noses, I used a brown paint pen and tried to add some like, you know, like little swirls and stuff to add some more dimension to them. And then I go back with a white paint pen and add some more highlights to each nose. And like I said, looking at them on screen and also in person, I, I just feel like I need to add some more color to it so the nose doesn't look too flat. And I just draw on some half circles. Well, I mean, you can kind of see what I'm doing here, but I'm trying not to make them all look exactly the same, I'm trying to make them look like they're individual reindeer because they are, they're their own people.
And then I take a smaller circle sponge brush and dip it in some black paint and kind of swirl it to finish the eyes. And if you look at the bottom right corner, you'll see where I was kind of turning around with this, you know, I kind of do the eyes like, should I outline them? Should I make them a little bit different shape or just leave them as circles? You know, just trying to see what I thought was best. And in the end, <laughs> I just kind of leave them like this, but I may go back and outline them. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think about this. I mean, I think they look okay, but they also kind of look like startled, you know, like they're just kind of like looking at y'all. <laughs> so. And those noses, uh, I feel like I just need to add a little bit more, but you know, I don't want to do too much. Okay. These antlers y'all, you would think that this would be the easiest part of all this. And it was, but it also wasn't. <laughs> so first of all, I had to forage for the twigs because I have no trees at my house, like none, like zero. And I was going to get some from next door, but literally the day I got home and I was going to go next door to get them, they had a whole landscaping crew out there cleaning up the brush in the tree area. So then Marvin, well, that's my husband, if you didn't know, but he said, well, couldn't you just go get them from the pot that they left for the city to pick up? No, Marvin. No, I can't <laughs> because they literally took it all. No joke, they had a trail, they held it all off, which of course, you know, left it looking nice, but I was thinking, but what about my crafts, y'all? What about my projects? <laughs> so I knew there was some of the office. So the next day I went and looked for those. I found enough for my projects, so all is good. And as you can see, I'm hot gluing them on and I'm adding some Spanish moss at the base of the antlers. And you could put a bow there, you could put some raffia, you could use that hula skirt from Dollar Tree, you know, something like that. Or you could, you could just leave it plain. <laughs> I think it would work either way. Quick question. And can you, without singing the song and even counting how many you see here, tell me how many reindeer Santa had and what their names were? Like, did you just know off the top of your head? I honestly couldn't remember the number, so I had to Google it. But this is how Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, and Rudolph turned out. Y'all, this was super quick and easy to do, very affordable. I just used old fence boards, but you could really use any scrap wood. You can make them larger, smaller, whatever fits the space you're decorating. And now you may have to adjust some of the sizes, but you could totally make this work. And the wood slices that I use for noses come in lots of sizes, but you don't even have to use that for the nose. You could use pom-poms, you could use plain wood circles, just paint it on. Because I used fence posts though, and that is thinner than a duo for, these don't stand on their own, but you could probably see where I'm propping up with all kinds of random stuff. I mean, it's like a ketchup bottle back there and some spray foam. But anyway, I'm attaching these to a stake and using it as part of my front porch decor, and I think it's gonna turn out awesome. Hey y'all, if you liked today's video, you might like this other video. I think it's up here. Is it going to be up here? It's probably up here. If it's not up here, it's over here. <laughs> so it's going to be in one of the one of the corners. We'll have a video that I think you might enjoy. But thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate the company while I craft and create. And I hope you enjoyed what I made today. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget, if you want to follow me on social media like TikTok, here on YouTube, over on Instagram, my handle is Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.